Welcome back to Ellen's Tips for iOS. In today's video, we'll be discussing various methods to save and print text messages from your iPhone. So if you have important messages you never want to lose, whether for personal, professional, or legal reasons, stay tuned. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. The simplest way to save text messages is taking screenshots of them. And since there's more than one method to take a screenshot, let's go over those steps first. So to take a screenshot, the classic way to do it is by pushing on the power button or side button and the volume up button at the same time. And if I do that, you'll see that a screenshot has been taken. If I tap on it, I can edit it and do whatever I want to do. If I tap on done, it's going to ask me where I want to save it. And for right now, I'm just going to say save it to photos. So that's the first method. The second method is to come in to the settings app, scroll down and tap on accessibility, tap on touch, scroll to the bottom of the page and select back tap. You'll have two options here. If your phone allows for back tap, you'll see either a double tap or a triple tap. Well, I have my triple tap set up for the magnifier, so I'm going to go ahead and tap double tap. I'm going to locate screenshot. And now when I double tap on the back of my device, a screenshot will be taken. If I just swipe that screenshot away, it automatically goes into your Photos app. Now let's come into the text message area and choose the text where you want to screenshot some of the messages that you have there. And we'll go ahead and I'm, I'm just using a sample text message for right now. So a great reason to screenshot some messages is because it shows the timestamps you can see exactly when those messages were sent or received. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot a couple of messages. And if I just swipe them away, they will go into the Photos app. So let's just do a couple of more. And one more. And so once you've taken all the necessary screenshots, there's an easy way to print them. Once you've taken all the necessary screenshots of the messages that you want to save, we want to come out of the text messaging app and come into Photos. And so tap on Select in the upper right corner. Now select the photos that you want to print. Tap on the share icon in the bottom left corner. Tap on print. Adjust the settings, you know, to whatever you need them to be. Make sure that your printer is highlighted. And then go ahead and tap on print. And then you'll be able to have a hard copy of those messages that you saved. Now, if you want an easier method so that your screenshots don't get lost inside the photo library, you can convert them into PDFs, merge them into a single file, and then print them. So we already have taken our photos. We know that they're located in the Photos app. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the Photos app. We're going to tap Select in the upper right corner. We're going to select some of the text messages that we uh, screenshotted. Now we're going to select the share icon, but this time instead of printing, we're going to come down and we're going to choose save to files. And once we do that, we want to put these in a folder so that we don't lose them. So I'm going to tap on back in the upper left corner and I'm going to go back one more time and I'm going to choose iCloud Drive and I'm going to tap on the three circles, uh, the circle with the three dots in the upper right corner and I'm going to create a new folder. 
and I'm going to call this folder text. And now I'm going to tap on save because we want to save that folder. And the folder is empty, but you can see that we still have our five uh, text messages saved there. I'm going to now tap on save again. And now those text message uh, screenshots should be saved to the file folder. So we'll swipe out of here and we will come in to the files app. We'll open the Files app. Let's go ahead and search for text so that we can get that folder to come up. There it is. I'm going to tap on that to open it. And you're going to see all of the text messages that we saved. Tap on the circle with the three dots. Tap on Select. Go ahead and select those. Now you'll tap on the circle with three dots down in the lower right corner. And now we're going to choose Create PDF. Once I do that, it's going to create a PDF and it should put it right here in the very front. Although you can see it has the same name as one of the other images. But I'm just going to click on this and it should open it and you'll see that all of the messages have been combined into one PDF. And so at this point, I can go ahead and tap on the share icon. I can scroll down. I can tap on print. And now we have a PDF file that was created and we can print that file out and save our text messages. Another easy method to save your text messages is to screen record them. And it's easy to do, although you won't be able to print them out. But to screen record your messages, swipe down from the upper right corner of your screen to come into the control center, tap on the record button right here. You'll see that you'll get a countdown come out of the control center and now just slowly scroll through the messages that you want to save. And when you're finished, all you need to do is go ahead and tap on the little red dot in the upper left corner, tap on the circle with the square. Your screen recording has now been saved to your Photos app. The last method of saving a text message is by sending them to another number. And this method is useful if you're looking to keep a record of the conversation, but don't necessarily need the timestamps of the messages. And to do it this way, you come into the text messaging area, push and hold on any message that you want to forward on, select more, and now go ahead and select any of the messages. So let's go ahead and select any of the messages that I want to forward to another number. And once I do, I'll, I'll tap on the forward icon in the bottom right corner, and you'll see that those messages but they have no timestamp. So I'm not really sure if you can tell if they're relevant or not, but then you would just put in another phone number. So maybe you're sending this to somebody else for them to have a record, and then you would tap on send. There are even some third-party apps that you might find on the App Store. Just go in and search for saved text messages, although most of them are paid for apps. And while there might not be a straightforward save or print button in the iPhone Messages app, there are several ways to save and print your text messages. You can take screenshots, convert them to PDFs, use third-party apps, screen record, or even forward them to another number. Whether it's for personal, professional, or legal reasons, you now have a range of options to ensure that your important text messages are safely stored and easily accessible. Choose the method that best suits your needs and preferences. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget 
to subscribe to the channel for more useful tips. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.